Tonight, Syracuse police are investigating an animal cruelty case that ended with a dead dog being thrown from a pickup truck. Now, investigators tell us the incident itself happened back on February 5th, around 2.30 in the morning. Unknown suspects, they say, threw the dog on the side of the road in the 100 block of Edison Street in Syracuse. The dog, which looks similar to the one on your screen, showed signs of prior abuse. If you can help investigators, call the Syracuse Police Animal Cruelty Unit. Their number is 315-442-5336. This latest case comes as we've seen an uptick in animal abuse cases in recent weeks across central New York. A mother and son in Weedsport now face a combined 100 charges related to animal cruelty after investigators uncovered animals in inhumane conditions. News Channel 9's Josh Barton tells us what may be leading to this disturbing cases of abuse. These are just some of the dogs State Police and the Finger Lakes SPCA of Central New York were able to get out of a home in Weedsport last week. Investigators say they were not fed, left without shelter, and in some cases, tortured. Robert Austin Hockey, 18 years old of Weedsport, was charged with not giving adequate food, water, or shelter to 17 dogs at a home on Mills Road. Hockey's mother, Nicole Rossetti, was charged with similar crimes last week. Tom Odessa is an animal cruelty investigator for the Finger Lakes SPCA of Central New York. The last year has been a difficult one, he says, and unfortunately, a busy one as well. Animal cruelty cases and domestic abuse cases are on the rise, on the uptick since the pandemic. There's, you know, a number of stressors for the people. The fear of, the, of COVID, fear of being cooped up inside, and many times people that are already in an abusive situation, sometimes that anger and that angst comes out and it's manifested as abuse to the animals. With the rise in cases, Odessa says you at home can be a big help. If you see something, say something. These animals were saved by someone who saw the conditions they were living in and called police. Taking action could mean a better future for a four-legged friend. Josh Martin, News Channel 9. And Tom Odessa noted that adoptions have gone up during the pandemic, but there's concern not all of those animals are in forever homes. Once people start getting back to work, he fears there could be a flood of pets going back to the shelter.